Good morning. That sounded like, no, I, it almost sounded like it turned off, but it is a good morning, and this is another day in how I survived the 80s, and I made my tea yesterday, my mother's rabbit tea, and uh, Peter Rabbit's mother's rabbit tea, <laughs> And Tom liked it so well that we had it for breakfast. But I'm off to make another tea for mid-morning. So I'm going to read one of my little recipes and how it started. And um, today it's called Summer's Tea, only I've renamed it. And I'll tell you at the end. And this is, remember, the little country farm. These are the... Uh, family of Peter Rabbit teas that I made the recipes to. It was early morning, dew was still heavy, when Peter Rabbit, Mopsy, Flopsy, and Cottontail started out. Down the country lanes, in and out the hedgerows, across the meadow dotted gaily with bright colored wildflowers. To the briars and brambles with their baskets gathering and collecting bits and snippets of herbs and grasses, roots and leaves, bud and blossom. They only stopped long enough to suck nectar from the flower cups and eat the last of the summer berries. Mrs. Rabbit was delighted when she saw the contents of their baskets and bulging pockets as they emptied them. Straightway she made it into a very pleasant tea. Peter wanted to name it Hippity Hoppity Tea because that's what they had done much of. Mopsy and Flopsy voted for gathering tea while Cottontail thought it should be only called the best tea. However, Mother had the last word and she called it Summer's End Tea which came to be shortened to Summer's Tea so that's what we shall call it. But since I wrote it, I really have the last word. And so I call it snippet tea. And I do this in spring and summer. I go out and I collect snippet tea. Well, when I wrote it, what I did in my little um, pantry where I had all of my herbs, I went and looked to see what I had the least of that I wanted to use up so I could get new. And so in that summer's tea, it was made up of alfalfa, catnip, chamomile blossoms, dandelion, elderflowers, hawthorn, lavender, lemon balm, mint, oat straw, raspberry leaf, red clover, rose hips, and shade grass. Well, so it was just gathering up what I had there. Well, now I gather up what I have here. And so we're going to go out and we're going to gather up what I have in my garden right now. And remember, this is February, so I won't have a whole lot, but I'll have some. And so let's go out and see. February has been a really strange month. We had two weeks of, believe it or not, in the mid-70s. Now we're getting uh, frost at night. And I got my seed to reseed my um, lawn, but it said wait until past frost. So I'm waiting before I can do that. And my little summer garden, I mean my kitchen garden, is coming up. And more and more I see. Okay, here we go. And I'll pick up my gathering colander. And we're just going to start in this one bed, I think, and stay in that. And I'm gonna, and the chickens are all running to see what I'm doing. They think I'm going to feed them. 
Well, the first thing I come to is some parsley. So I'm gonna snip some of that. And remember, Peter Rabbit wanted to find some of this to calm his tummy after he'd eaten so much. There. And the next thing I have here is lavender. So I'm gonna snip some of that. And I've got two different kinds, so I'm gonna snip this other kind too. I don't know if it'll make any different kind of tea, but that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and I've got rosemary in here. So we're gonna get some rosemary. Okay, hey, and I've got blooming nasturtiums, so I gotta get a couple of nasturtiums and a couple of leaves. By the way, nasturtiums are related to watercress. Okay, last, and you really can't see it anymore, but behind here, I've got sage and pine. My little verbena right here is beginning to leaf out, so eventually I can do that. have much I'm going to add when I get into the house some of last year's lemon balm that grew here so in we go to make our snippet tea and my Swiss chard I had always oh no I won't put any of that in I was tempted Well, hello there. Look at what I got. Uh, did we come in the mail today? In my shop. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, and my doggie didn't get to go out with me. You, usually she's right there, but we missed her today. Okay, and back to the kitchen, and now I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, I collected all of it. But actually, I want to adjust that. Okay. Actually, I, I've cheated. And I already made a pot. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to empty my contents. I've got my nasturtiums, my parsley, my rosemary and lavender and because it isn't very much I added some of my lemon balm from last year and I decided I wanted mine to taste lemony so I cut a slice of lemon and even though I'm not supposed to eat sugar I put in a just a bit of honey and it's local honey and so it should be very nice. And so let's pour ourselves a cup of snippet tea. Oh, and I've had the tea cozy on it. Very English. And it looks like it could have steeped longer, but I'll have a taste. It tastes like tea, but I think it needs to steep a little bit longer. And I have two cups out here because I wanted to try if I liked milk with it better. So I'll pour myself another cup. And probably I should have a strainer because I got some of the... Now, 
I'll try it with the milk. Still needs to be steeped longer. Ah, but a nice cup of tea. And I'm going to enjoy both of them. And I'm going to have a nice day. And you have a nice day, too. And this is one of the ways that I survived the 80s. And isn't it fun?